Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at how to create depth of field in 3ds Max using Arnel Renderer. All right. So we will set up the scene and we will understand how depth of field works and uh, how to achieve uh, depth of field. So what is depth of field exactly and how how does it really work? So if you look at a camera lens. The camera lens has a shutter and two things happen. One is the shutter opens uh, with different size of opening and then the other thing is how long does the shutter stay open. So if the shutter stays open for uh, just has a small opening then you get less depth of field that means less things are blurry. And the shutter stays open for a long time so that enough light passes through the shutter so that the film is exposed correctly. On the other hand, if the shutter opens completely, then it uh, stays open for a very short time. And that's why you get a lot of blurriness in areas which are not in focus. Okay, so uh, the camera lens will decide how which area is in focus and which area is not in focus. So there is focal distance that is set by the lens and then the shutters will decide how much blurriness is there in the camera. So this is uh, an example of a real camera but the same thing happens in uh, a digital camera. So what we'll do is uh, we'll create a plane and then we'll create three simple teapots. So before we do that, uh, we will set up the scene by creating a backdrop. So we'll convert it to editable poly, select the backside, and I will simply shift move it up, then select this one and chamfer it. Increase the chamfer distance, then add some segments for smoothness. So that is our backdrop. Okay, we can uh, further stretch this out and then we can scale this out. So we have a nice backdrop. Alright, then we will create teapot one in the Front, shift, select one in the back, and one in the front. Okay, and then we will add a physical camera. And then we'll look through the camera. We will move the camera up slightly. And then we will move our teapot one to the left one to the right we'll go here and say show safe frame go to render settings and make this hdtv uh, i right click here so you can make it 720 by 405 as a setup i'll right click here and make this 1280 by 720 okay so you have 1920, 1280, 720, and then maybe a smaller one. I like 720 by 405. Ten render, and you can see there are three T pods. All right. So we will move this further to the camera. Move this further up. This is big enough. And we'll bring this somewhere in the middle. All right, this looks good. Okay, uh, we can increase the size if you want. Some nine, nine.
all right so material editor create a physical material assign it to the background double click it and make it white roughness will be one okay we can name this floor create another one double click on it we'll make it red Roughness, I will make it 0.3. Select one of the keyboards, assign it. Shift, change the color, maybe a blue color, color. maybe the back one gets that one. Shift, double click, maybe a green one. Maybe the front one gets it. The middle one will have a red one. Alright, so this is our basic setup for the scene. Now, this camera, okay, light is missing, so we will add an Arnold light. We'll click and drag, move it up, and we will call it distant light. Okay, render it, and it's too bright. So we'll go to the exposure settings of the light and make it one. And now you see that uh, the Teapots are nicely visible, but it's still too bright. So we can select the camera now and look at camera exposure, which is at six, um, uh, which is set up at six. So the camera exposure works inversely to the light exposure. So we will increase this to make the scene darker. So we'll make it eight, and you can see that it gets a little darker. And then the last thing we are going to do is uh, make the shadows a little lighter. So we'll select this distant light and we'll change the density to 0.5. Okay, then we will make sure that it is always rendering camera view. We will lock it. And this is the final result of the rendering we get until we work on the depth of field. So now, if you look at the camera, uh, we have the camera lens set at 35, focal length is at 40, and this is the camera distance. This is important, okay? If you see, if I change the camera distance, there's hardly any change in the view. So the view remains the same. Only thing is we can decide which object is in focus and which object is out of focus. So right now I will make this object in focus, the middle one. So I'm making sure that my target of the camera is on the middle object. And I will turn the depth of field on and I will go here and turn my active shade on. Or we can make it high quality. So. Now you will see that the depth of field is set at aperture of f8. Okay, so the opening is very small and that's why there is no depth of field. We want somewhere here at 1.4. So if I make this 1.4, you can see that. This one and this one is a little blurry and this is in focus. So if you render this out, you will see that uh, blurriness is there on this green and the blue and this is crystal clear. So you can see. Now we can further enhance that by taking this down to say 0.1. Okay, you can see now these two are totally blurred out. 
okay and then the red one is in focus and that's basically the depth of field and how it works and it's up to you how you want the look to be so at 0.5 you have a clear indication of how these objects are and then this is focus so what we will do is uh, we will look at now bringing so you can also see here uh, with the aperture it, it will tell you how what area is in focus and what it is out of focus so this much area will be completely in focus anything out of this will be out of focus uh, but this is just an indication uh, we were at 0.5 and then we put the green one in focus and then you can see that our green teapot is in focus and the other two are out of focus okay so that's about it thank you very much and hope you experiment this and get some really good results we will try the last one and see that now the last one is in focus and the other one are out of focus if you pan it further out everything will be out of focus All right, so that's about it. Thank you very much.